Hey y'all, we just took our all of the Monte Carlo simulations to turn our L and T data into LNL and LNT data. So now we're going to make a summary table um, with all that stuff on it so it's easily, uh, easily viewable. Because now the way we have it, each of our LNL data points and their errors are stuck in the columns of their MCs. And the same is true for the LNTs. So we're going to put it on this um, new sheet. It's called summary and fits. That's because summary is not the only thing that's going to be on here. But it's the only thing we need to talk about now. Um, we're going to make the summary table so that we can then hop onto Plotly and we can make a nice plot uh, with error bars. So let's get our summary table together. All right. So let's have our length number. And then we'll have one, two, and three. Again, I'm using sample data that only uses three lengths. You will definitely have more than three lengths. Um, there's length number, and then we want LM of L sigma LM of L, and then similarly. Um, I'm going to merge these cells on top. And where's that format, right? Format merge cell. Um, for these ones, because I want to call this a line center x data. And I want to do the same thing here. Because we're putting this into a y equals mx plus b type form by taking the logs. Um, so let's call them this. And it's going to make sense because we're going to, when we get to our OLS fits, we got to be clear about when we switch x goes to y and y goes to x. So I figure let's have some labels up here. Anyway, all right, now we got to populate this table. Um, so we're going to reference everything from our MC simulations. So starting with the L's, for length one, we got this one, and it's sigma is right underneath. All right, I'm gonna fast forward this a little bit so it doesn't get too tedious, but I'm just gonna go copy over these from the LMC and copy these over from the TMC. And when I say copy, remember I do not mean copy paste. I'm re referencing the cells. It's important that we reference the cells so that everything carries over. Great, all our data is in. Let's add some borders to this plot. Um, and then it'll be all set. We'll have a nice, pretty um, summary table. Oops, not copy. Highlights. Awesome. So now we got our stuff sort of cut up, our x's and our y's. Tech matter x's and our y's, we got a header column, or a header row, I should say. And we got our trials or lengths. And then all our summary data. Sweet. So, as I said before, this sheet, this isn't the end of this sheet, but this is the end of the summary table for the data that we need to put into Plotly. Um, later, we're going to get on the sheet um, our OLS fits in our or should I say our weighted OLS fit and our inverted weighted OLS fit. We'll put those in their linists on this sheet as well. And then we'll be ready to take the GMR um, Monte Carlo sim. But before we do all that, let's get this stuff in Plotly so that we can uh, see how linear it looks and we can see it with its data, with its error bars. 
Anyway, that concludes this video.